Hello gamers, it's quite possible I found the endgame gaming mouse. I couldn't believe my eyes when I saw it. The majesty, majesty. craftsmanship, she looked like it was forged in the mountains by gods. Sent to this time and place right now to take my breath away, revolutionise the gaming mouse industry. It's a turtle. This mouse qualifies as it clearly has gaming in the title. Sepiki cute animal wired mouse plastic USB cable mouse green gaming mice 3D optical mouse computer PC turtle game mouse for only eight and a half dollars. Shape turtle, color green, material plastic, clear and concise, compatibility for Windows 98, 2000, NT, Me, XP and for Vista. Worry to support 10. Dimensions are in the picture, very, very nice of them. In one of them, there's even a hair on the turtle. It's got three ratings, so this is 4.3 out of five. Let me have a little read of the reviews. This is from Ah. Five stars, amazing. Turt mouse is very excellent. It's time to get it. Regrettably, this mouse did not come in a box. It quite simply just came in a plastic bag and that was it which had all of my details on it so this is the turtle gaming mouse something that just caught my eye as i said is it had the word gaming in it let me just give this a quick hold get i don't know how you should help i believe okay so this is clearly designed for claw grip i think that's I think that's all right. I think I think I've got it. No mouse feet, even though in the pictures it showed that there were feet. I thought there was going to be, you know, the gaming grade 100% virgin PTFE, but no, it's just little bits of plastic. Um, so you might be a bit curious. The the mouse buttons are the top of the shell. So this part is the button. There are no side buttons, so lacking a bit of functionality. So this is probably more of a very heavy focus esports design. Don't want to, you know, distract people with other buttons. You have obviously the cable um, protruding from the turtle's uh, mouth. I don't know if it could possibly have some sort of tapeworm or something, but anyway, the scroll wheel, which feels absolutely terrible already. It's, it's tightening up as I scroll it. I feel like it's going to unwind itself. Maybe it's got a second function of like spinning across the floor. The uh, switches feel okay for a turtle mouse. I, w I will be honest. This doesn't really fit into the hand at all. Also rattles. I think that's just the buttons. We'll let that slide. So it's going to be very interesting to play with this. The cable is uh, not the best. I will be honest. It doesn't sit very secure inside the turtle's mouth. Bit, bit wobbly here but you know you can see it sits raised from the base of the mouse so there's not going to be any immediate dragging a bit of a shame that um it's not a uh, a paracorded cable um, and what is also a bit of a shame is that the the eyes of the turtle are not googly eyes i feel like that would have been um a lot better for an esports focused design 48 grams so this is definitely an esport lightweight ultra lightweight super duper lightweight esport professional mouse so this is going to be quite good but I'll give it a, a go in game and see what I can see what magic I can make up with this. I don't know why, but it's like... I hope this is sort of like being picked up, but... It's like when I look around... It's like it's it just turns into an Xbox controller. 
Right, so um, I've spent a couple of games with the turtle and I'll be honest, straight up, they were absolutely terrible games. I unfortunately do have to be the bearer of bad news, but I don't think this is a gaming mouse at all because I don't know how to hold the thing. I can't play with it at all. It just seems to just suffer from massive amounts of input lag as well. So in all honesty, it's just a hunk of garbage. I really don't know what else to say. But having said that, what was I really expecting? Did I really think that a mouse that was designed to look like a turtle was going to be good? Maybe, it could surprise me. I've been surprised before. You know, this thing costs around about $8.50, so, you know, I was hoping that it might be usable just because, you know, I've already reviewed a $7 mouse that was very good. But no, this, there is absolutely nothing good about this mouse. Actually, that's a lie. There is one thing that's good about this mouse and that it does look like a turtle. Um, so it's got that going for it. But that is literally the only thing that is good about this mouse. Everything else is just absolute rubbish. Out of all the, um, the cheap gaming mice that I have used so far, this is by far the worst. Should I have to warn people to not buy this mouse? Isn't there, is, isn't that kind of like self-explanatory when it's designed like a turtle? Surely this is, you know, the thing is, right, if somebody buys this for their kid who's like five years old, they're going to struggle because they're not going to know how to hold the mouse. Actually, I don't know, actually, maybe a five-year-old turns, I don't know. You know, now that I think of it, maybe this mouse is designed for a five-year-old. Clearly, it just needs a label on the packaging saying suitable for ages, like, from four to ten. This this mouse has no redeeming features. I hated every moment of using this. It's an abomination, and honestly, I've been ripped off. You know, because this cost, like, over eight dollars, I think that this is a rip-off for this mouse. It really is. So, what have we learned today? that these funny Amazon mice might look funny. You know, they, they might sort of be a bit of a wacky joke, but ultimately the price that you have to pay in terms of using it in game, even for a few minutes, it's just not worth the horror. It really isn't. Do not buy it.